Sunday, April 14th, Dwight Gooden's number 16 will be retired. And then on Saturday, June 1st, Daryl Strawberry's iconic number 18 will be retired. It's the highest honor you can get from a team. And I know for myself, where my journey went, um, even joining the Yankees, I always consider myself a Met. I always want to retire as a Met. And now I get the opportunity, and I can't thank Steve and Alex and the board enough for giving me this great honor that I can share with my teammates, the fans, and my family. So I'm definitely looking forward to this day. And it's the greatest honor that I can achieve in my baseball career. I wouldn't trade it in for anything. I wouldn't trade my career. I wouldn't trade my mistakes. I wouldn't trade it in for anything. It all was a learning lesson in life. And to be at this place today and to be able to have this honor where your number is going to be retired and that's forever, it's bigger than just going into the Hall of Fame. My heart and soul bleed blue and orange. I always have, always will, because there's nothing like playing in New York. There's nothing like the atmosphere. There's nothing like the fans. There's nothing like being booed and, and let fans letting you know when you suck. And that's part of it because it's, it's either going to make you or it's going to break you. There's no better feeling. I got two strikes on a batter and the fans are sent up clapping when the third strike out. And now to have our numbers up on the Raptors, that's going to be there forever. Something that um, I want the fans to feel like they're a part of that because they played a big part of my success as well as my teammates. You know, and when I look back and reflect on it and, and I look at my rookie season and, and realize how empty Shea Stadium was, and then after that rookie season, it was never empty. Uh, it was a stadium that was full of fans. And I think the most important thing that I want them to know is we love them. We always have. 